they go from here series and before we get this started I want to talk about what is going to be happening in the next week and a half I would say up until the Thursday after this one based on when this video is going to be posted and so I'm going to be posting franchises on my AM and exclusives channel and it's going to be the franchises that I do for fun and so the reason by this and I'm only going to be doing this for a short period of time but the reason by this is because to be quite honest I'm just so tired of settling for mediocrity in my commentary because there's a lot of room for improvement with my commentary and I'm just starting to get really annoyed by it by the fact that I just am not in the spot where I want to be in and I feel like this is actually where it's supposed to go like where I'm gonna practice so posting on my AMN exclusives channel for like just a week and a half it's not even gonna be for two weeks because I don't want to try this out longer than it has to be because we are here on the 12th this is when the 12th is when it's supposed to be uploaded so I will be returning basically after the draft after the M or during the NBA draft and yeah that's gonna be happening but um, I'm just I'm just really tired of settling with mediocrity and like I said in my new directions video like you guys hear all the good stuff I hear the bad stuff or I said this in a previous channel update video I can't remember when it was but I hear all the bad stuff and you guys are the good stuff you know that's fine but when I hear you guys like the videos but what I hear is mediocrity I I see mediocrity coming out of my videos I see so much room for improvement in my I wouldn't say video quality I would say well I mean I guess so more so in my commentator quality and this is the reason why I didn't want to this is the reason why I stopped doing as much NBA talks because I need to focus on this more and then once I get to that spot I can return to things that seem more realistic for me and I just feel like this right here there's just a lot more room for improvement and if I do this where I focus on more of the commentator style in my videos on my AMN exclusives channel rather than the video quality then this will help me out a lot and this will turn me into a much better commentator and so I'm going to be doing franchises in the sense that I keep you guys updated on like the moves and stuff or you know what's going on like there will be insider videos and I'll call them insiders it won't be talk shows or anything but the thing is that I am going to just be it'll be mainly focusing on the commentary aspect and it won't be as it won't have as much extra to them these series won't have as much extra to them like the thumbnails won't even be where it's on that much they will be generic looking thumbnails and uh, it it will be more so about me improving as a commentator because doing things in a different way would seem to suit me a lot better and so this is just this is just something that I thought would be necessary for me if I want to grow as a commentator and get to the spot where I want to be in and just doing this in this style I'll be doing franchises on some of my favorite teams so and it's just franchises that I played for fun up to this point and it'll just basically be me commentating doing broadcasts and highlights like you'll still see the graphics and the highlights videos but they will be a lot different they will be different compared to my actual it won't be different actually the commentator style is gonna be better because this is what's going to happen I just think I need to take a break off of my main series and focus on some side things so that I can improve and so this series is gonna occupy for like three maybe four videos in terms of my franchises or in terms of what would usually be my franchises and then I'm just gonna be focusing on my wit on my AMN exclusives channel so I'm just gonna be posting these videos like every other day I should say so like next one would be Wednesday and then Friday 
and then if I can get a video out on Sunday, you know, I'll do that, but I'll probably just end up waiting until Thursday so that I can get back because I'm actually going to be doing something with one of my good friends on or one of my friends on YouTube so that should be quite fun but yeah I mean I just feel like this is really where things are supposed to go like this is just where I think the direction of this channel should end up going and so yeah that's just that's just what I have for here and this is what's going to happen for the next week and a half or so just so that I can get back into the game or not get back into it, just get into the game because there is a certain amount there's a certain level of commentators that I saw it and it's about like four levels so there are the elite pros there are the pros there are the elite youtubers and then there are you the youtubers all right I so I basically fall into the category of the just the youtubers you know more so just like the guys that put out content that isn't bad but can be so much better in terms of commentary skills and you know what not so yeah this was a long one so I mean I will put a timestamp in this video just so that you guys can skip ahead but we'll just get right into some pelicans talk because I'm sure that's why you guys are here but you'll probably skip ahead because I put the timestamp on the screen and in the description and so yeah that's what's going to happen for right now on this channel I'm RJ West and let's just get into this alright welcome back and we are here for some pelicans talk on the where should they go from here series they finished 34 and 48 and of course south finished south back in the southeast or they finished last in the southeast division south or southwest division gosh i cannot get my thing straight but um of course there's the trade of demarcus cousins there was the trade of demarcus cousins to the pelicans and uh they proceeded to lose three straights and they won, or they started off losing four out of their first five, or more accurately, six out of their first eight. And then they started off going on a bit of a hot streak, and then they just sort of, sort of fell off at the end. So the New Orleans Pelicans, they have DeMarcus Cousins, and a lot of people are already giving up on the Pelicans. And, you know, I kind of see where they're going. I want to see how accurate these ratings are okay not so bad but one thing that i noticed is the difference between demarcus cousins and anthony davis is that demarcus cousins is more of a guy that can make your team better he's more of a guy that will help make your team better and like will give you a better chance of making the playoffs if he's on your team and anthony davis is not and instead of an Anthony Davis because he's more Anthony Davis is more of a guy that can play off of other great players rather than just being like the best player on well I mean he can be the best player but it's not like he can take a team and that team would be 20 win projected to go like 20 wins maybe only like 17 wins but then turn them into a 35 win team or even just like a 40 win team like I don't know it's just that's just kind of how I feel about Anthony Davis whereas DeMarcus Cousins is a guy that can make you better as a team and we'll get to the king I mean we already saw the kings but if we go back to the kings here you saw before the trade Obviously, they weren't winning too many games because they're not that good. And DeMarcus Cousins is a big man at the end of the day. But they still were relatively... They were they were all right. They were all right. They weren't good, but they were all right. So, like, DeMarcus Cousins is that guy that can make you better as a team. But there are obviously concerned, concerns about his defense, I think... If I remember correctly, they overrate his defense in this game. They overrate a lot of players' defense in this game. Mm, eh, slightly. 
slightly overrated, I would say. Slightly. Not too it's not too bad, but like his defense has always been the main cause for concern when you have a guy like Anthony Davis who knows how to defend. And that's something good. And so now Drew Holiday, it's just their biggest problem right here is just filling out the roster from two to three, like on the wings. You gotta fill out the wings. They basically traded all their wings, like Buddy Heald and Tyreek Evans. So they're gonna have to keep Drew Holiday. I mean, unless they get a guy like Kai. I mean, even even Kyle Lowry. I don't. I'm not sure if he's much of an upgrade over Drew Holiday, because Drew is actually a pretty good point guard. King guy, a guy, and he actually had his most efficient season this past year. So he's a guy that can play some defense, average 15 points a game, be a solid ball handler. And be the guy that can be your point guard, play off of Drew Hall or play off of Demarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis. And then if they can bring in some free agents, if I could look at some free agents, I wish I could. Oh, there. I okay, cool, cool. I can. So if they can bring in some guys, let's take a look at some. So Dwayne Wade, I don't think he's leaving, but if they can bring in a solid guy like, I mean, bringing bring in a shooter like JJ Redick. Contavious Caldwell Pope is probably going to have his contract matched, but if he doesn't, that would be a good addition. Guy who can play off of Demarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis and provide some defense. Norman Powell, I think, will be resigned by the Raptors, but even getting a guy like JJ Redick won't be bad. It's definitely an upgrade over whatever you got at your starting shooting guard spot right now. And then. I mean, James Johnson is a pretty good defender. I mean, he can be a good, solid guy, but maybe bring in a guy like CJ Miles. He seems like a good D and three type of guy. I say D and three, even though, but I think CJ Miles would be a nice addition for them. Tony Snell, Ethan, he did pretty good for the Bucks. Good defender, shooter. Have Anthony Davis locked up, Demarcus Cousins up until next year. And Drew Holiday is gonna have to get his, but they're just on some bad contracts like Solomon Hill and Omer Ashik. Each one more. I mean, he's a solid role player, but not. I wouldn't say he's worthy of eight million dollars a year. So, I mean, they just have, they're just tied in with bad contracts because Solomon Hill. Eh. 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 Not very good. Omer Ashik hasn't been good for a couple of years. He's really fallen off. He used to be a good defender and rebounder for the Rockets. But, I mean, he hasn't been such since. So, Pelicans are going to have to re sign Drew Holiday. Unless they feel like they can get a better point guard, but there are no guarantees when you didn't do much. Chris Paul wants to win now. I wouldn't be upset if he decided to go to the Pelicans, but they're going to have to get JJ Redick and CJ Miles and then fill out their bench. They're going to have to do that. That's a priority, filling out their depth. So... I mean, oh, I wasn't finished looking at point guards. I kind of got a bit distracted. Uh, Kyle Lowry. Georgia wouldn't be such a bad addition. But, I don't know. Maybe maybe he won't leave Utah. I don't know. I'm not sure. Jeff Teague is... <sighs> Defensively, he's not as good as Drew Holiday, in my opinion. Defensively, he's not as good as Drew Holiday. And he's also... He also, didn't, he also wasn't as efficient. But, he's a solid player. He can be a decent playmaker pretty and he can also be a guy that can get you some points when you need him if you ask me I think he would fit well in Milwaukee <laughs> and we'll get to that when we get to that I'm gonna try and get this series out but yeah the Pelicans they have some work to do and um, in terms of playoffs I feel like if they were to, they just need to fill out 
their roster and their depth a lot more but there's gonna have to be some maneuvering with that because they're tied into bad contracts and that's the big problem here they're tied into bad contracts and they don't have a pick in this upcoming draft so they're just gonna have to find guys that can be solid depth for the vet minimum basically I mean they'll have like 10 million dollars to work with if I look at this again I'll have like 10 million dollars to work with but they're going to have to resign Drew Holiday. It's just they're stuck with these bad contracts right here. These all are not so good. So they're giving up around, if my math is correctly, well, they're giving up like 19, 20 million dollars in cap space with just these three alone. So that's not a very ideal situation. And it's just. It just shows the incompetence of the New Orleans Pelicans. So, I mean, they could be a disappointment, but we'll see if they can maneuver and improve their depth. Like, we'll give them, let's give them this offseason before we judge them. Alright, that's just, that's just what I'm gonna say about the Pelicans here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that is the Where Should They Go From Here series. I, if you ask me, they need to improve their depth. That's their number one priority because they don't own a pick in this upcoming draft. So, by any means possible, improve your depth. But anyways, that is going to do it for this edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. I'm RJ West, and I'm saying so long. And the next team that we will be looking at will be the Charlotte Hornets. I'll see you then.